Welcome to Questions and Conversations on Leadership and Life. In this episode, part one of Awareness in Action, we invite you on a tour of the senses, a mindful practice designed to heighten your awareness and presence. Learn how simple exercises like see, hear, feel can help you connect to the present moment and unlock clarity in your leadership and life. Ready for it? Let's begin! Hello, hello everybody! Here we are with our questions and conversations on leadership and life with Steve and Polly. Oh, welcome. Good to have you here. Yeah, it's good to see you. Good to see you, Polly. We're recording this on a Friday, so we're uh, excited to to be um, pulling this together. And we really uh, are looking forward to sharing the topic today where we're going to link uh, one of our presencing practices we do at the start of the show, but also link it to another practice that we've both found very helpful. Um, and the two really link well together. So yes. the, the first presencing practice is, you want to explain that, Polly, what we're going to do with I that can... and how you might lead us through that? Um, that'd of be great if, if you could. Happy to do that. So the first one we will be doing is the C here and feel and this can be done like seeing out whatever you are looking at observe notice see the colors see the people see the cars or if you are sitting in your um, chair comfortable chair or desk you what do you have around you what you were seeing so you were seeing out if you were station stationed in a place you can see in by closing your eyes and just notice whatever pops in front of your the images that come to your mind even the absence of images is something so and it happens different for everybody so you can see things you can see lights you can see people that are popping up in your mind just notice just observe the okay. same goes with uh, the same goes with here you can hear out the sounds that are around you. Like from where I'm staying, I can hear the AC going on. I can hear my own voice. If I am out walking, I can hear cars going by or I can even hear the birds chirping in the back. So it really depends on when you are, but just hear it. Let yourself notice whatever you are hearing. Coming to a comfortable position if they're stationed once again you can hear in by closing your eyes and listening to those inside voices that goes in everybody's mind they all they are always playing in my mind i bet always playing in steve's mind too and your your mind whoever you are whoever you are yes you do have voices inside your mind so just tune in to those voices. What are they saying? What is going on? What is happening inside your mind? What are those voices saying? Just notice. And it is easier doing when you have your eyes closed, but sometimes you can even do that with your eyes open. Okay. So that would be here in and here out is whatever is that around you. And the feeling, feel in and feel out. Let's go with feel out first. Feel out, you can, be, you can feel your clothes on you. If you're seated, you can feel the chair that you are sitting in. If you're walking in nature, you can feel what it's like to be walking in nature. When we think of tastes also, this goes into feel and smells out also goes into feel. So okay. this would be feel out. And feeling in is what is going on inside you. Like what is happening? Is there a turmoil? Is it a calmness? Is just like ooh, peaceful? Is the feeling of what is inside you? Just feel it. Just notice. And remember that everybody notices it differently. There is no right and wrong with any of these three parts, like the see, the hear, and the feel. Always good. Always okay. It is just for us to start bringing awareness to our senses. And this is a really, really, really good activity. 
Okay. I also mentioned to you, Steve, that I like to be doing this when I am out in the pool. Just okay. Just like relaxing and then looking around, see out, and then closing my eyes, floating. What do I see in? What am I? He what I hear out? What I hear in? And what I can feel like by being in the pool, floating and feeling inside. This is for me a good way to connect to myself and bring awareness to my senses. Okay. Are you ready to do it? Well, just just real quick before we do, yes, I am. But just mm -hmm. for our listeners, that, so there's a couple ways to do this and see if you agree with me, Polly. So today for this, Polly's actually going to prompt us with a see, a hear, or a feel. Okay. But when you're out walking or doing this at your desk, you can do it two ways. One, you can just be aware of what you're at. And like, I'm looking out the window now, so I see a tree. Mm -hmm. So you just you just be aware. And if a car goes by, I hear. So you're mm -hmm. just aware, and it could be either a see, see, hear, or feel in random order. The other way, uh, when you're alone, you might just do, I'm going to do three C's in a row. And there's no time limit, but I'm just going to keep walking and notice the next three, three things I see. And then I'm going to notice the next three things I hear. Uh, so I just wanted to give some space so that they kind of understand when Polly's not on the other end, uh, prompting us to see, hear, or feel. Those are two ways you might approach it on your own. Was it, That's so would true. you agree Thank with you for, that? For, and then for, I'm for looking the forward to you leading us through this yeah. practice. Yeah. So as you were saying, it can be a guided practice and you can guide your own, okay. your own self. That's a good reminder. Awesome. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you for that. So we are going to go starting with a C out. I okay. will be guiding you see, saying it. So just notice what you notice with a C out. Whatever you can see, you can even see something and focus your attention. See out. You can see the colors or details of something. See out. See out. And now we are gonna go with the C in. So if you're comfortable and if you can, you can close your eyes. If you're driving, please keep your eyes open. Yeah. And even if you're walking, we don't want you to stumble. So keep with your eyes open. But if you can, close your eyes. And let's see in. See in. See in. Images, lights, the absence. Just notice. See in. See in. You're going to hear out. You can do this with your eyes open or close. It's your choice. Just be aware of where you are and hear out. Hear out. Hear out what's around you what you can hear hear out and if you have the possibility to close your eyes and hear in The little voices in our heads, what are they saying? Notice them. 
fear in. Fear in. Fear in. Fear in. You're taking one more step on our tour of the senses. You're going to feel out. You can do this with your eyes open or close. And you feel out. You can feel where you're seated, your clothes, you can feel a taste, feel out. Feel out. Do you notice you feel out? And we are now getting to our last stop with a feel in. You can do this with your eyes closed, your eyes open. But what goes inside? Feel in feel in feel in just notice observe Feel in. And we are wrapping up our tour of the senses. Opening your eyes if you had them closed. Getting back into the room you are, the walk you are doing, or even your driving. Or for us, for Steve and I, to our Zoom here. And notice how you're feeling. Remember, there's no right, there's no wrong. It's you feeling what you're feeling. And me see if you want to bring your voice in to let us know how you are feeling. Yeah, I, I really appreciate that exercise, Polly. And I'm going to invite us to just take one deep breath because some of those little voices are still rattling around up there. So just one big deep breath and out. And I really, uh, it's, that is one of my favorite presencing exercises because that practice, first of all, that exercise itself was great, but that practice, I have found it just helps me if I do that for just a couple minutes, two or three times a day. It's a tour of the senses for a reason and the awareness of my senses and what's going on just, I just feel like it's elevated uh, through the day. I'm just more aware of what the, what's, what is going on what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing, what I'm feeling. So thank you so much for leading that. Thank you for joining us on this tour of the senses. Reflect on how this practice enhanced your awareness and consider how it could support you in, in daily life. In part two of Awareness in Action, we'll take this awareness further by exploring the pause, notice, choose, a tool to transform reactivity into intentional action. Share your thoughts in the comments, like this episode, and don't forget to share it with someone who might benefit. We'll see you in part two.